Welcome back, family. Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Sir Local 187. Man, I'm hoping you and your family are doing good, doing well. It's been a good minute. It's been a slow week. Uh, man, it just has been a slow week, y'all. Sorry about that. So anyway, if y'all new to this, but ain't true to this, y'all know what to do. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. So when your boy, Sir Local, is cooking in the kitchen, y'all be the first ones to come and get it. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, by all means, do consider subscribing. And today I bring you a special one, a uh, special review, special sneaker. I've been waiting to get my hands on these, and I uh, just happened to walk in Foot Locker and they finally had it. You know what I'm saying? They've probably been out for a while, but I guess late shipments or whatever, whatever you want to call it, whatever. But before we get started, I want to welcome the new family members. Thank you for joining the family. Uh, if you're into sneakers, you're definitely in the right place. So with that being said, I just want to take a moment to talk about uh, Air Jordan 4 Black Canvas, you know what I'm saying? I guess they were limited, some places didn't get them, supposedly late shipments, and then I believe they got my sneakers out for October 5th, so we have a chance for those of us that maybe took owls or maybe want to double up or triple up, whatever, uh, we have another crack at it on, on, a, on a sneakers app, October 5th, if I'm not mistaken, unless they change it again, but I'm gonna look for some late shipments, maybe in Champs, I know Champs didn't get their men's pairs, so, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna be on the hunt for them too. I at least want to, need to get me a pair of them black canvas. So, if y'all cop, man, congratulations. Drop a comment, let your boy know how they feel in hand, okay? Let, let your boy know how they feel in hand. So, anyway, without further ado, I will be reviewing the Nike SC3, uh, AKA Bo Jackson's in the Kansas City Royale uh, colorway. That's the official colorway, if you will. So. Without further ado, here you have it. Nike SC3, Bo Jackson's Kansas City Royals colorway, unofficially. And I've been meaning to get the Oakland Raiders, you know, back in the day, they were Los Angeles Raiders back in the day. That's who uh, Bo Jackson played. And uh, before I get a little bit into Bo Jackson, let's get into the colorway of this box. It's a regular Nike box. Okay, size 13, Air Trainer, SC High. The colorway is Leche Blue, Black and White, y'all. Leche Blue, Black and White. So, let me move these babies back to the side. Nike box. Okay, see if there's any stamp action. Yes, there is. Regular white tissue paper. Let's see if there's any uh, YDM sticker in there. Nope, I don't see none. So, you know, for those of y'all, especially like in the newer generation, if you will, who wasn't uh, around that time he played, Bo Jackson was a multi-talented sport, multi-sport talent. You know, he, he got drafted by the Los Angeles Raiders in 1986. And in that same year, he got drafted by the Kansas City Royals, Major League Baseball, y'all. So, you know, there ain't too many players that, you know, play two sports. You have Deion Sanders. He's the only one that comes off the top of my head. And if y'all know any other ones that, you know, played uh, two sports, uh, by all means, drop a comment, let your boy know. But... Uh, Deion Sanders and Bo Jackson are probably like the two most, uh, I guess, famous ones, if you will. So let's get with the shoe. You got the Nike on the tongue. And it's kind of like uh, the canvas nylon material, you know, on the tongue. You got white flat laces. And the tongue feels like neoprene. If you will, neoprene material. You got your perforated hole around the toe box. Okay, you got some of that dark blue stripe, if you will, wave on the side of the toe box there. And the material is pretty much leather. Leather materials. If you can see a little bit of the, you know, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to call it crackling, but like a little bit of design on the leather. It feels a little stiff, to be honest. And then you got the smooth toe box. Very smooth. 
and uh, let me see if I can turn on the light just give it a little bit better there you go you got light smooth le leather on the on the mud guard okay you got your bit a little bit of your outsole sticking out in the, in the forefoot okay and you do have like this netting here if you will with a little bit of graphics in the background and you got your gray design with the white midsole going throughout the sneaker you got your exposed air unit okay you got some more of this uh you know netting if you will best way i can describe it hooked up to the eye stays eyelets up here you know so you can uh they give you like an extra one i guess you know for extra tighten them up pretty good and keep your feet in there you know what i mean so you have the netting on both sides there on the eye stays on the medial and the lateral you got your black leather nike swoosh and in the heel you got your nike branding into the leather you got it looks like minor stitching in there too okay you got double stitched stitching if you will and these debuted up uh, man uh, i don't know if they debuted around the same time 1986 forgive me y'all but yeah just check out the outsole you got some of that waffle pattern on the outsole you got your gray you got your hints of leche blue but i'm thinking the leche blue is probably like the light baby blue which i'll call it you got your nike on the bottom okay I love the colorway. You know, I'm a sucker for blue, different shades of blue. So uh, drop a comment, let your boy know what you think about the colorway. Drop a comment, let your boy know what you think about Nike SC trainers. And you got this dark blue on the inside of the tongue with the Nike Air branding. Okay. And you got your Nike Air inside. You got your gray insole sock liner right here. And that's pretty much it, you know what I'm saying? You got your perforated hose around the ankle. You know, now, I know they were said to believe that SC stands for Sports Classic because I think the uh, Bo Jackson debuted it uh, wearing these sneakers on the Sports Classic uh, football game, if you will. So SC either stands for Sports Classic or the other one is probably uh sports and conditioning so it probably means for both of them you know what i'm saying sc sports classic uh and also too like i said sc stands for sports and conditioning you know what i'm saying so man these still hold the test of time if you ask me from 1986 to uh 2022 and uh man i've never owned a pair of sc air trainers highs if you will you know what I'm saying? I just never looked at them or checked for them, if you will. But these are dope to have in your collection. So let me know if you own a pair of uh, Nike SC3s in your collection, what colorway. And uh, let me know how they feel on feet, y'all. So by the looks of these, the colorway, the execution, and a little bit of the, 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 the history, the storytelling with Bo Jackson, one of the greatest athletes ever to play the game on both sides, Major League Baseball and the National Football League. Man, I give these two thumbs up. Man, these are solid, y'all. These are solid in my opinion. So, with that being said, these are the main ingredient. The Bo Jackson Kansas City Royals. And that's, like I mentioned, that's who he played for on uh, Major League Baseball. And he also did play for the Chicago White Sox. And finally, for the Los Angeles Angels, which I believe was 1994. And he retired. I think from sports altogether, if I'm not mistaken, but at least from baseball, 1994. Now he did suffer a pretty bad uh, hip hip injury, if you will, and you know he could have gone on a lot longer, in my opinion. And he played running back. His position for the football NFL was running back, and boy, did he used to run people over, man. He had thighs of thunder, man. I would not want to be going head head to head trying to tackle that guy alone. <laughs> So anyway, drop a comment if y'all remember Bo Jackson. So anyway, 
Hopefully you and your family are having a blessed day. And uh, man, your boy can't cook without the special ingredient. That's every single one of y'all that's taking time out of your day to watch my videos. And to help support your boy, please hit that thumbs up. And uh, y'all be safe, y'all. Peace.